Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Marrow is Bad. I know everyone is so excited about this series, as seen by the ratings of the pilot episode. Anyways, in this episode, my grandma is better than Marrow. We'll be looking at his Super Mario 3D World coinless video for World 2. And come on, Nintendo, still grouping your levels in worlds, even though your game is called Super Mario 3D World? Disgusting. Be like a good Mario game like Super Paper Mario and call each segment of levels chapters. That way, it would make it less confusing. But getting back on the track, let's see what Mero screwed up this time. Here's the splash screen at the end of the video. And I do say, it's a very beautiful splash screen. Mero, A plus, OK hand emoji. However, there's a lot of yucky yellows, oranges, and reds, so let's see if we can clear some of those up. Before we begin, I should note that Mero corrected the red markings on his spreadsheet for the levels that you need to kill enemies to progress, or to get collectibles. Uh, that would make it orange. So I won't be covering that in this episode, but I will be adjusting the mistakes that have not been updated on the spreadsheet at the time of making this video. So, let's begin. Firstly, let's look at World 2-1, Conkdor Canyon, more specifically, the first green star of the level. In the video, Mr. Mayor over here used Rosalina's spin to reach the first green star avoid using the cat belt and the orange marking. So, can we make it green? Unfortunately, no. Try as I might, I couldn't get the height I needed to reach the first green star. Even if we managed to climb all the way up to the top of this cliff, which I should say is impossible without Rosalina or power-ups, we still couldn't make it over there. The only way I think this could be possible is spin jumping from this railing and moving all the way over to the part of the ledge out railing, which is here. But Mario just doesn't have the horizontal distance we are looking for to make this jump. So sadly, Mero, you win this round. But have you noticed the time left on this video? Yep, we still have plenty of more levels to prove that Mero is nothing more than trash. Okay, 2-2, 2-3, all green, good. I like green. But hold up, is that, is that a yellow I see? We need to fix the stat, and I know just how. So Mero again used Rosalina's extra spin to reach the green star, because with Mario alone, a spin jump from a clear pipe just doesn't have the height necessary to reach the green star. But Mario has his special buddies, the Galoombas, just as special as you are, Mero. Okay, I hear you asking. I get that Galoombas can probably get you the height enough to reach the green star, but doesn't killing Galoombas give you coins? And to that I say, thanks for communicating with me, viewer. I'm very lonely. And yes, you are right, killing the Galoombas does give you coins, but studying the enemies does not. We can take advantage of this by positioning the Galoomba just right so we can bounce off him and reach the Green Star. Sounds good? But notice that we still don't have the height we need. If you look closer, we could even see that it's about the same as a normal spin jump that we tried earlier. But not to worry, we still have two more tricks up our sleeves. We can position the Galoomba just right so that it's at the highest it can be for more vertical height. But this alone just won't cut it. We also need to use the corners of the clip. Think of it like the misalignments in Super Mario 64, even though they aren't. If we manage to get the max height off the Galoomba and hit at or near the corner, we can get pushed up just enough so that we can reach the green star without using the power-ups only as Mario, and most importantly, without collecting coins. If you want to see the whole attempt, link is in the description. Though, I do warn you, at times the recording is a bit glitchy. So let's update that splash screen, shall we? Now let's look at 2-5, Double Cherry Pass. Now, I'm going to say this straight, nothing here can be saved. For the second green star, nothing I tried to push down the other button to spawn the star. I tried using the touch screen, didn't work. I tried spawning an item there, didn't work. I even lured an enemy, which I should add did require me killing one of its kinds, which granted me a coin. But it didn't even matter, because it couldn't activate the button. So yep, this star is still orange, but what about the fire bro? Right now, we can only get past it by using a fire flower so that when we kill it, it only drops the coins and doesn't automatically add to the coin count. But what if, now hear me out, instead of using the fire from our hands, maybe we could use the fire from the fire bro- It didn't work. 
Yeah, I tried. The fireballs just won't want to hit the sky. I mean, look at this. Look at it. Look at how close that is. But maybe it's possible. But through my testing, I had no luck. If somebody wants to try this for themselves, have at it. I'm not stopping you. But for now, it's going to have to stay orange. But now, for the main event, the most redliest thing in the whole universe. So red that it hurts to look at. Of course, I'm talking about 2-Tank. Ugh, that's a definite yikes from me. So what's the problem? Well, in Mero's video, the problem came in these bullet bills breaking these boxes to spawn these coins. Seems unavoidable. But, Sonic Manic stepped in and showed us that it's possible to use the cap suit to redirect the bullets into not hitting the box, changing the level from red to orange. But we can do better. We can do it in green. We, we could change the level to green. But how, you may ask? By using the technology that is the Wii U gamepad. By touching and holding the bullet bills, we can stun them for long enough so that another bullet bill can come up and blow the first bullet up. But this alone doesn't seal the deal, because as Mayor demonstrated in one of his streams, bullet bills can still spawn and blow up the box, even if the box is not on screen. So what the heck, it's over, right? Nothing we can do. But here's the thing, I know something that you do not. Of course I do, I'm everything ABC, I'm very smart. If we stun the bullet bills and let go, they get unstunned. What, you knew that too? Okay, but did you know that if you stun a bullet bill and then unstun them while they're off screen, they just blow up? I didn't even know that until recently. So if we do that, then the bullet bill will never break the box and will never get the coin. Case closed, everything is so beautiful and green. Oh, how lovely! Except for the side of orange as the green star. We do need a cannon block to blow it up, but whatever, green, yay! <laughs> yep, it's the time of the video. Time for your punishment, Mero. Because I'm so much better than you are, and you are bad, I think it's only fair to reward myself by unrewarding you. As punishment, for the next week, I will be calling you... Weenie SMM. Wait, that isn't impactful enough. Oh wait, special Weenie SMM. Yes, that's it. Your career is over, Weenie. <laughs>